I gotta say, man, shout out Optimus Army. I have never had a video topic that I can remember be requested so heavily so quickly, man. I mean, the, it seems like the moment this news came out, you guys had just jumped on top of this, bro. You guys were like sharks in the water just waiting for Optimus to bully Twitch about this decision. It was insane. I have never had my Twitter mentions, my Discord DMs, YouTube comments in such unison in my life. Y'all were just A1 with this one, man, but you guys already knew this video was coming. You guys already knew that Optimus was going to be talking about this one here, fellas. It, do I even really need to explain to you guys why I'm gonna be making this video? This may be one of the most ridiculous decisions I've ever seen a company on the internet ever make. Uh, no, wait, let, let's scratch out the internet part. This is one of the most ridiculous decisions I have ever seen a company make. So Twitch recently uh, decided to announce that some new protected classes of people will be defended on Twitch. And you're thinking, you know, Optimus, well, well who, who's going to be the protected class of people? Are they going to be defending the disabled, a minority group, a disenfranchised group? No, nothing like that. Well, basically the folks at Twitch have come out in defense of the folks who cannot get any type of pussy, any type of draws, right? and have decided that they will be banning usage of the words incel, simp, virgin, things like that on their platform, because heaven forbid anyone ever hears something like that. I mean, you know, what would some simp on the internet do if he heard somebody call him an incel or a virgin? His poor little feelings may just be hurt if he heard something so catastrophic to him, and, and he, I, you never know, he might actually go out and try and get himself some draws, you know what I'm saying? He might actually open up a Tinder profile. But with that being said, man, I mean, it just, that decision right there being announced alone was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen, so. Practices, and that does include negatively targeting another person with sexually focused terms. So using terms like simp, um, incel, or virgin is an insult uh, to negatively refer to another person's sexual activity is not allowed under this new policy. Um, in addition to the policy change, we're also proactively denying emotes that include the term simp and we'll remove them when reported and we'll keep doing that once the policy changes. Thank you for that clarification. Mike, we're going to bring you back. Uh, for I mean, you heard it here first, folks, and, and these aren't men making these decisions. These are females that have announced this, at least, so... I think we may have found the first two women on planet Earth who can get no type of dick whatsoever, but I mean, hey, that's just, <laughs> you know, let's take a step back here, Optimus. Don't want to get banned on Twitch. Don't don't want to call them incels. So, you know, what what's the big deal, right, Optimus? Why are they even mad in the first place? I really don't know, okay? I can't even explain to you what the problem really is. If this is considered cyberbullying, this may be the worst form of cyberbullying of all time. Now, as someone who is a veteran of the original Call of Duty game chat and a proponent of internet cyberbullying, I am one who, who sees something like this as maybe the most tame form of insult you can possibly hear on the internet. As a 12-year-old child playing Black Ops 2, the things that were said to me by grown fucking men on the internet on a daily basis far supersede anything that could ever be said to me in a Twitch comment. My nerves have been completely demolished by 35-year-old men in the year 2011 dropping Moabs on my head and telling me that they're going to have sex with my mom. The concept that me being called a fucking virgin in a Twitch comment on a stream is gonna somehow upset me or, or, or is gonna negatively affect my mindset is the exact reason why websites like Twitch and why the gaming culture in general has become so fucking garbage. I know people don't want to admit this, but a big part of the reason why online multiplayer games are fun for a lot of people is the toxicity, okay? CSGO really isn't fun when you're playing competitive, to be honest, but when people are in there talking shit, oh, you bet it's fun. Call of Duty, like Black Ops Cold War, it's an okay game. It'd be a lot better if the skill-based matchmaking was turned down a little bit, but dude, when I'm bullying people in the game chat beforehand, that's the most fun that I have in the game, right? When, when we're talking shit, and no one's offended, you know what I'm saying? None of us in there are upset, no one in there is crying, we're not bullying people into tears. It's lighthearted shit talk. And, and, and let's keep it a buck fifty here, okay? We're breaking out the Optimus Classic, let's keep it a buck fifty here. It, let, let's say you are one of these pussies on the internet who gets called something like this, right? Let's say you're fucking, you know, loser Jimmy 44 streaming on Twitch, okay? And 
some guy comes in your comments and he's like, LMAO, you're a fucking simp. What an incel virgin, okay? Is that mean? Yeah, it, that's kind of mean, right? Is that something that should negatively affect you as a person? No, it's not. Like, I'm, I'm just not getting it. Maybe, maybe something's not connecting here, something I'm not understanding here. How are y'all letting comments like virgin, incel, and simp on the internet legitimately upset y'all? How is it getting bad enough to where they legitimately have to ban these fucking words off of websites to keep you idiots happy? Like, I'm just, I'm not understanding how you can possibly be that soft as a human being. And even then, like, I, I don't know if you guys ever played, like, sports or if you guys, like, took PE and stuff in school. If you've never been in, like, a locker room or around, like, a group of friends for, like, an enclosed period of time, shit talking is, is something that people do. Like, it's just, it, it, some, some of it is healthy, I think, to just kind of shit talk a little bit. I mean, to be honest with you, if you're so fucking sensitive that you can't handle any sort of, like, trash talk, that, that's not good. That is not a good thing. You are too sensitive as a person, and you are not, like, the world does not need to correct itself for you. You need to correct yourself for the world. Like, the fact that on Twitch, which is a website about video games, or at least used to be a website about video games, people being called a fucking incel is now a, a, a bannable offense. It's a indefinite suspension. Completely blows my mind, right? Like, it, it completely blows my mind. So they have yet to provide like a legitimate reasoning as to why this even happened in the first place, because in all reality, there isn't one. There's no reason why this happened. It's yet another stupid fucking step that Twitch's moderation team has taken to protect the top class of streamers. That's what it really comes down to, because when you think about it, a lot of the top streamers, you know, they're smoking hot females and things like that, right? And a lot of their fans are known as as people who donate a lot of money to them. So they get called, you know, fucking virgins, you know, you Pokemane tier three simps, things like that, right? That's what it really comes down to. Twitch has noticed that in the last year or so, a lot of the people that fund their website are basically getting made fun of for being exactly what they're being called. And they've come to realize that, like, well, if these people, like, get called out for being fucking weirdos enough, like, they might stop being weirdos and they won't give streamers $8,000 anymore on our platforms, and that's not good for us, so maybe we should, uh, protect the Pokemon Tier 3 virgin incels. Like, that's the only logic that I can fucking process for this, because it comes completely out of left field. It's not like this is after some, like, targeted movement or anything crazy. This is just some shit they did out of left field for absolutely no reason. And, and I have yet to see, I don't think YouTube has done anything about this. I, I haven't seen YouTube tell us like, hey guys, no more calling people incels and simps in your videos. And what it really comes down to, uh, at the end of the day, Twitch is a failing website, okay? I, I hate to say this because I know a lot of people prefer Twitch to YouTube and they're gonna get mad when I say this. Twitch is inferior to YouTube in every way. Except maybe like bits or whatever, right? Like the very minor features that they have that are a little bit different than YouTube's. But in terms of when you can put them up head to head, YouTube takes them out of the water every fucking time. First off, I prefer to watch YouTube streams 100% of the time over a Twitch stream. YouTube has put in a lot of work to make like the dashboard more user friendly for streamers. There's a lot of different monetary opportunities for streamers like super chats, the super stickers, direct donation links, all kinds of things, ad revenue, of course. YouTube has gotten to this point where streaming on their platform is basically the same, if not better, as streaming on Twitch, and you can actually do shit without getting stupid bans like this. Like, it's a rare day in hell where I actually say YouTube is the dominant platform over something, but when you can't even call someone a fucking simp, that's when you know that something is not correct. And the thing is, is if you know anything about the word simp in the first place, it was never historically used to designate somebody who is like sexually attracted to someone to a ridiculous degree to where they're like kind of throwing away their dignity for them, right? It, it was never even meant that way. It just kind of became that way because of an internet meme. So Twitch is trying to scrub their platform squeaky clean and for no reason. And when it comes down to it, man, th there's much worse issues to tackle. And the funny thing is, is uh, this is coming from YouTuber, uh, YouTuber Kavos. You guys probably know who he is. He's one of the uh, more large commentary channels as well. He made a Twitch account named IncelSimp69, right? And as you can see here, uh, he was banned indefinitely, a permanent ban from Twitch for using an inappropriate username. So the name IncelSimp69 was a permanent ban from Twitch. Keep in mind, this is a platform where people have fucking abused animals on camera. This is a, a platform 
where horrible people have done horrible shit live on, on camera and they've either gotten nothing done to them or if anything happened to them, it was self-imposed or it was extremely minor punishment from the moderation staff. You know, a little three day suspension. But if you name yourself fucking incel simp 69, that is a permanent ban from Twitch. Can someone please explain to me the logic? Can someone please explain to me how that is user friendly in any way? That there's no such thing as fun on Twitch, man. First and foremost, if anyone is so legitimately offended by the terms, you know, virgin, incel, simp, shit like that, that they're willing to leave Twitch, they were not a, a, a good enough user in the first place that you should have been focused on retaining them. Second off, these words are quite literally now part of the meme and gaming culture that literally thrives on your site. Therefore, when you do shit like ban these words, all you're telling people is, hey, we really don't give a fuck about the culture of the website around us. We, we really just care about the money. It's really stupid, man. Twitch, they make some of the dumbest decisions. Like, they and YouTube, I think, really just fucking play Russian roulette for who's dumber when it comes to the decisions they make. I legitimately believe this may be dumber than any decision YouTube's ever made. Like, I, I've, I can't think of even one decision that YouTube's made that even comes close to this. But that's really all I gotta say, man. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subtoptimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, calling fucking people virgin incel simps on the internet and not getting banned because guess what? I'm not on Twitch and signing out.